What's up everybody, Duke of DC here, and uh, thanks for joining me in this video. That's a terrible beginning. Is that what I'm going to go with? Okay, well I clearly don't know how to start a video when I'm not on the motorcycle, so great. This is a video that I've owed you guys for a long time. This is the Kriega R25 review, and it's kind of a what's in my bag video. Uh, a little bit of an update here. So tomorrow, today is Saturday, October 3rd. Tomorrow is October 4th and our first scheduled meetup. And unfortunately, because of the rain situation that's been going on for the last couple days, even though it looks like the hurricane is going to stay clear, uh, it had to be canceled. I mean, there was nothing I could do really. We're gonna have to wait until it's just a nicer day to do it, and uh, I'll keep everybody posted on when that is. Hopefully we can do it sooner than later. I'm sorry about the cancellation, but I feel like a lot of people wouldn't wanna bring their bikes out anyway. The roads are still gonna be completely soaked. Uh, there's a lot of flooding going on in some of the areas around the, um, where we would be riding, so I don't wanna put anybody at risk or danger. Without further ado, Let's look at the Kriega. So Kriega products are pretty amazing. Um, Kriega prides itself on having a 10 year warranty on everything that they make, which is unheard of, right? You don't really get that anywhere else in the uh, product consumer market nowadays because nobody really believes in their stuff. In fact, a lot of stuff is said to be part of planned obsolescence where it could break after two or three years and that's what it's supposed to do so that you have to go out and buy something new. Well, Kriega doesn't <laughs> listen to any of that sh and they just build stuff that works. So this is the R25, uh, 25 being the literage of the bag. So it's a 25 liter bag. And this is the quad lock system. Okay, so this is what the quad lock system looks like when it's all locked up. As you can see, it is a four point quad with two connectors. Um, what Kriega has done here that no other backpack brand can do, in my opinion, is make a backpack that is tailored specifically for motorcycle riders. So I used to ride with a school backpack, and what frustrated me about that is this opening right here. As you can see, this opening on Kriega comes all the way down, and then it jets across, where a normal backpack would start up here and then cut across in from this point. And what that does is when you're wearing a jacket that has huge sh shoulder pads, it makes it damn near impossible to get it on and off without having to unhook something or loosen up the straps and then have to readjust once the backpack's on. Well, once you set this on the Kriega, it's completely done. As you can see too, these little dots on the top and these single dots in the middle are to make sure that you have it spaced out exactly the same on each side. What's cool about this system is that this strap actually feeds into a slot up here. So if you can see this little slot down here, there's there's about four or five more inches of strap in there, and if I was to loosen this system, I could pull it out and then make it that much bigger, which is great because, you know, there's a lot of bigger riders out there. And they cater to bigger riders too in the use of these very adjustable metal pull straps or pull cords, whatever you want to call them. This is an extremely easy thing to find with your glove. You just hook it with a thumb. You can tighten it up so that the weight is more sitting on your hips than sitting on your shoulders, which is generally a more comfortable position. And uh, you can loosen it if you're feeling a little asphyxiated, <laughs> which is sometimes what happens to me because I cinch it up so tight. Uh, definitely not recommended. And then something else that I love about this backpack, considering I wear it every single day and I commute every day and I commute to work, so I'm wearing you know dress clothes and whatnot, is this. The three-dimensional mesh in the back here is extremely nice. So what that does, it's an inch thick mesh. Let's see if I can, yeah, you can get a idea of how thick that is. Now it's a three-dimensional mesh that's one inch thick and that really takes the, the heat of wearing a backpack off of you. So this allows air to flow through it and it keeps you from sweating. So if I'm wearing a dress shirt and a jacket and it's summer and I need a backpack because I'm hauling stuff, then I won't sweat with this backpack on, at least not at my back. At the straps, yeah, you still get a little bit, even though there is some of the same material, it's just not as thick, so it really doesn't promote that whole uh, distribution of heat 
as well. Uh, moving on to the front, or I guess the actual pack part, uh, we have some reflective stripes, reflectivity all over the place. So you had two in the front, this big one in the back here it works great. Um, you've got these cinching buckles here that can tie down what's in there so that it's not completely loose. You can make sure everything is cinched up next to you to create better uh, wind resistance or lack thereof wind resistance and to just make sure that, that nothing's flapping around in the wind. So something Krieger does to really make sure that that's not happening is they have these little buckles here. So if I were to take this out, this piece of fabric would be completely going crazy if you're going 80 miles per hour. So what they have you do is you just cinch it in there and voila, that only took me super long with one hand. Um, but yeah, you can put that in there and I've literally never had anything flapping around on the backpack. It's, it's perfect. And for a backpack like this, which is competing generally with the uh, OGO Mach 5, which has absolutely no straps on the back, right? It's one hard shell. Uh, people, people think that that's the way to go because they're worried about things flapping around. Well, I promise you, if that's your main concern, this backpack has no issues with that. Um, getting into the actual pack, also you see these little straps here, or these little um, plastic bits. That's for additional Kriga stuff, so you can add on. They have the R10, R5, little dry packs that can go on top of this, which are really cool. We'll open this up, and there is an initial small pocket in the front. And I'll start showing you guys what I, what I keep in here, too. So I just have a notebook uh, for writing just random thoughts for the channel. Uh, I have a screwdriver, always comes in handy. It's a multi-bit screwdriver. Ooh, and you can see some Duke of DC brandage. Stickers are for sale. Check out the link in the description or click the little card. Uh, and then super important, I keep a giant Ziploc bag in this thing. Uh, people are probably wondering, why isn't this waterproof? No, it's not waterproof. It's water resistant. And what that means is that if you're in a rainstorm, which I've been in many with this, you can get away with it. However, I would not have a laptop in here and bank on it being dry if you're in a rainstorm. I would carry something like a Ziploc bag. This is a cheap one, like a freezer one. As you can see, there's some rust in there. That's pretty gross. It's because I had something that was pre-rusted inside of it for a while. Um, but yeah, keep that in here and then just put whatever you need to be completely watertight inside the bag and you'll be fine. Uh, but if you're looking for a bag that's 100% waterproof, this is not the way to go. This is a water resistant bag. However, I've been in some downpours. You guys have seen a few of my videos where it's pouring. I'm wearing this bag. It's got my phone in it, my like GoPro stuff and everything comes out fine. But I keep it in a certain pocket and I'll show you where that is. So we're moving into the main uh, area of the backpack. There's really t only two places to put things. This little front zipper and then up in here. Up in here. And I'll show you what I keep in here. So there is a lot of room. 25 liters. I just screwed up all those stickers. Perfect. There we go. 25 liters is a lot of space. So I generally keep a second pair of gloves. I keep my chest mount, this is how I used to record my videos, sometimes it comes in handy if I'm riding with a friend and he's got a GoPro but nowhere to put it. Uh, I have the GoPro 3-way, I'm such a brand whore, I've got all GoPro stuff even though they sell awesome aftermarket stuff that's like a third of the price. Uh, this is a liner for my jacket. Let's see, oh, and super important, everybody should keep this in their bags. These are visors, so I keep a dark visor on my helmet at all times, right? Because I'm generally riding in the daytime. However, there's a clear visor in here, and there's my gold visor in here. So I like to change it out a bit. There's a few other pieces of like GoPro kit that I keep in this bag just so that they don't get lost and they don't need to be waterproofed, so that's fine. Uh, for the sake of argument, I never really keep this in here, but this is my laptop, and it's in the sleeve that's meant for either the back protector or if you want to put the Kriga hydration system in here. And that being said, I'm sure that you could do something that isn't a Kriga hydration system. If you have a Camelback uh, pouch, I'm more than positive you could throw that in here and it would work just fine. You just have to figure out how to hook it. There's a little hook right there for the Kriga system. If your Camelback has a similar setup, then, then you'd be fine. Uh, and that's all I have in the main pouch, and that leads us to this, my favorite pocket. 
So whenever I think it's going to rain, I take all of the expensive stuff out of my pockets. My wallet, my phone, uh, you can even see a little GoPro thing in there. And I put it in this. This, I don't know 100%, but I believe is waterproof. Uh, I wouldn't quote me on that. However, it's much more water resistant than the rest of the bag. So if it's been raining and the bag is kind of wet, everything in here is bone dry. Uh, so even though it doesn't need it, sometimes I keep the batteries because I keep batteries in a waterproof GoPro housing anyway. But I put those in there. I have uh, my external recorder if I want to do some good audio. I've got the GoPro battery charger just in case. Um, oh, this is so crucial. I hope you guys have these. I've got some Mellows. These are the chainsaw grade 22 decibel... Um, what are they called? Earplugs. You know, the Tuono is loud, and <laughs> I'm trying to keep my hearing until I'm really old, so. Uh, and then I just keep, like, a little Ray-Ban cleaner rag uh, for my camera and stuff, just in case. So. Yeah, so that's it. So, that is a lot of stuff, and to be honest, I usually have a little bit more stuff in there. I just have it packed a little bit tighter. Uh, I'll have, like, my lunch in there. I might have a work computer if I'm having to transport it. I'll have a pair of shoes in there almost all the time, a pair of running shoes uh, or a pair of dress shoes depending on what I'm bringing to work that day. This obviously doesn't have a hard shell. Um, however, I think that this is a more versatile bag because of that. I think that without the hard shell, you can stuff more into this without those limitations. You can get away with using it as like a day pack um, on an airplane or something and it doesn't quite look as purpose-built for motorcycle riding, so that's cool. And we're back. Uh, it's literally the only reason why I kept this card was because I knew I wanted to do a video on it. So, we got the quad lock harness, front expanding pockets. What that means is that those little straps right here can expand. We have the four-point compression, scotch light reflective, internal magazine sleeve, internal coated mesh pocket, and then the 25 liter capacity. What in the world? All right, well that doesn't say what it's made out of, but I believe it's a nylon, high strength, maybe even Cordera. I'll flash it across the screen right now. Whatever it is, it's extremely high strength, and if it were to rip or break, you could send it back to Kriga, 10 year warranty, and have it replaced. So, I mean, what company does that anymore? This is like the beefiest, backpack handle I've ever felt. There's some, there's some like braided steel cabling in there, I bet. Um, yeah. So that's it, guys. That's all I've got. Again, I'm really sorry about the meetup. I wish I could have done it this weekend, but uh, I don't want everybody to come out in a rainstorm, and I think that we could do it at a better weekend. So whether that be next weekend or a month from now, I will keep everybody posted. Uh, if you like this video, please hit that like button. Comment down below if you have any questions. And if you're new to the channel, subscribe for more. Stickers are available. Stickers, 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 stickers. Those are special. Look how few of these I have. There's very few. Look how many of these I have. You guys want these, right? Yeah. They're available on the Etsy page. I'll put a link in the description. And there should be a card with a little exclamation point on the right-hand side of this video. And uh, I'll check you guys out on the next one. Peace.